Arlene, get it off of there. I can't do it. Good afternoon, everyone. Wow, I'm getting people already. I just um, made, you can see this here. It's got to be in the oven. I just I just got my oven pre-lit. So I want to get everything done before I put the potatoes on. And this has got a mashed potato topping. And I just mashed the potatoes. And I will give you the ingredients because it's quite extensive. The list is quite extensive. And this does not have any meat in it. That's why it's called vegan. But I'm going to take these mashed potatoes and I'm going to put them on the top. I want you to see what it looked like before I put the mashed potatoes on it. And then I'll go in the oven. The oven just just it just got got preheated, so I'm ready to put this in. It has to be in there for 25 minutes. Uh, well, thank you for the super hearts, Arlene. And I think I can stay on here that long until we get them done. Um, this is a little bit different than your pot pie. Pot pie is is is, is a. Arlene thought I was making a pot pie. She said, "Well, no cross." I said, "Well, you're thinking about the pot pie. This is this is shepherd's pie." She says, "Oh, that's right." That's right, so i got to make this stretch. I only use four potatoes to mash up. This is only for me anyway, but I wanted to see how it was going to come out so I could maybe take it to a, a fellowship meal some Sabbath. And uh, and this bakes, uh, it bakes on 425 for 25 minutes. So I can talk to you while this baking. And this dish I just bought today, I washed it and everything, and I, I bought this dish today to put it in here. That, and you can see it's, it's a nice dish. And I'm going to get ready to put this in the oven, and I'll talk to you for 25 minutes while it's baking, and then, and then we, we can see what it looks like, and I'll cut into it. Okay, let, I'll put it in the oven. Okay, I had to look at my watch. About 25 minutes. So anybody that comes in, they're gonna <laughs> they'll have to watch the replay. Um, Oh, wow, from Amsterdam. Hi, to those just coming on, I just put it in the oven. It has to be in there for 25 minutes. But what I did is I did all the prep work. I put everything on the stove, all the veggies and everything on the stove, and got it, got it uh, all heated up. And then I, then I put it in my pan, and then I did the mashed potatoes, which don't take any time at all. Not only took four, four potatoes. I will give you guys the ingredients while I'm standing here. It's a quite lengthy list, as you can see. Um... I am going to right now. I'm going to tell you what's in it right now. Um, first of all, it's one tablespoon of it. You put put like a pot, and I use I, it's it's sitting in the sink now with water in it. I used a pot. You know, it's a I think a three or four quart pot. You really don't have to be that big, but that's the smallest one I had. Um, a tablespoon of vegetable oil. I use olive oil. I suppose you could use uh, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, or any other oil that you might have. Um, two tablespoons of garlic minced. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. And I put in, I already had a jar of minced garlic, so I put that in there. One onion diced. That took a little time because I had a pretty good sized onion. Um, two stalk, or three stalks of celery and two carrots. And they all have to be, uh, uh, chopped and diced. Well, the stalks of celery are supposed to be, uh, di uh, chopped, but I didn't chop them. I just diced them up as fine as I could and the carrots were, were sliced. And mushrooms, I left them out. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. The, it calls for two cups of mushrooms. We don't we don't put mushrooms in it because of the, uh, um, you know, they're they're a fungus. We don't use that. Okay. So I left that out. Then it called for one cup of corn. So I bought some frozen corn today, organic frozen corn. I put that in there. A uh, half a cup of parsley chopped. So I bought me some parsley, parsley uh, fresh parsley, and I chopped that up and put that in there. And it calls for a teaspoon of tomato paste, or a tablespoon of tomato paste, which I already had, one teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of sage, a teaspoon of, of, of pepper and, pe and salt. And I don't put the pepper on, but I do use salt. I had sea salt. Um, two cups of veggie broth and one tablespoon of flour. Now, it did not, it did not say what kind of flour. I have all-purpose flour, and I use that. Um, yeah, well... Beings, this is vegan. I don't know why they would use mushrooms, but they did. We know the shepherd's pie normally calls for meat. But I, you know, I left that out and I put everything else in. And, of course, I mashed the potatoes. It took four mashed, four potatoes mashed. And, and then I got them cooked. And then you saw me. I got them mashed and I put them on top. And it's different than a pot pie. I do have a recipe for a pot pie that I want to try and do eventually, too. And that's going to take, that's going to take a little bit of time to do. But I got to make the pie crust, vegan pie crust and that. Um. Oh, you'll catch the replay at your work? Okay. 
Okay, Yvette. Um, I'm not, I don't have mush. I'm not having mush. I'm having, I'm having shepherd's pie. I don't want somebody saying mush is not good for you. Or, oh, you mean mushrooms? No, they're not. If you mean mushrooms, um, no. Um, one tablespoon, one tablespoon of flour, but I put in a little bit, I think I put in two tablespoons of flour, and the reason for that is because I didn't use the mushrooms, so it would thicken up faster, and once I put that other tablespoon of flour in there, it thickened up right away, because you want it thick to pour it into your pan. You know, mushrooms would have made it probably thicker to begin with, you know, because uh, but since I didn't use those, I had just the veggies, your carrots and your celery and, you know, your spices and things like that, and the veggie broth. I, you know, I thought, well, I'll add just a little bit more because you have to get it thick to pour it into the pan. And so it, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. I haven't had my lunch yet, so these will be part of my lunch. But I've been wanting to make this, and I had to go to the, um, why aren't mushrooms good? They're not good because they're a fungus. You don't eat anything that's a fungus. Why would you want to put that in your body? They're not, I know there's different kinds of mushrooms. There's shiitake mushrooms and different kinds of mushrooms. Don't eat any of them. I don't care for mushrooms in the first place. And that's good enough for me since I don't care for them. I don't put them in my recipes anyway. They call for mushrooms. I leave them out. That's what it is when you, you make your own stuff. You can put into it what you, what you want and you can leave out what you don't, you know. Now, Alexis can do from a pampered chef. I talked to her on the phone yesterday and she said, what do you use in place of the meat? Tofu? I says, no, you don't put meat in it at all. It's just all, all veggies, you know, veggies, of course, tomato paste and your thyme, sage and things like that. And it actually looks real good. You know, I tasted a little bit of it. And, of course, it's going to taste better when it gets done in the, in the oven. But it's up 425. You have to have your oven at 425, and it's 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll probably have it in there 25 minutes, and then I'll take it out. And I think it'll be really, really good because I haven't had anything since this morning. But like I said, you take these in um, recipes, and you make them your own. That's what I like to do. I like to make them my own because... There are so many things that the, in, the, in these recipes now that are, that are on the Internet that are just not good for you. They say they're vegan, but yet they use things that you shouldn't be putting in your body, like apple cider vinegar. You should be putting that in there because it's fermented, and you've got mushrooms that are a fungus. Not to, and to, not to, just a couple things to mention, you know, other things too. You know, they say they're vegan, but yet they, they're not completely 100%. This is 100% because everything I used in it is good for you. Everything. You know, and I already had the tomato paste. I only had to go and buy the corn, and I had to buy the parsley. Of course, I bought a few other things while I was at. I bought some tofu today, and organic tofu, things like that. But I had to buy a few things to, to make this because it was on my mind to make this, and I've been wanting to do it and just never had the funds in my account to be able to make it. Well, with the holiday being what it was and the weekend, the money didn't come in until yesterday. So I was able to go today and get what I needed to make this. And I'm going to post it up on Facebook, and I'm going to post it up on uh, YouTube as well. Now Alexis also said that I should probably start a vegan group in, on Facebook. Um, how did I prepare? How did I prepare the potatoes? I just cooked them and then mashed them, and I don't put regular milk in them. I had I had some almond milk. This uh, the regular almond milk. Um, it's just the original. I just put that in there. It gives it a little different flavor, but you can use any kind. They say soy or nut milk. And I figured, well, I don't have soy milk. I had coconut milk and I had almond milk, so I chose to put the almond milk in there. And just, just mash them and then, and then just put them up on top. You're welcome. And just put it up on top. And it just about <laughs> wasn't enough. I probably could have done another potato, but I hated to do that. Maybe the next time I'll do another potato and it might be a little bit more. But you don't need a lot on it anyway. Just enough to cover it up and, and uh, so you can bake it. But I know it's going to be good because... Stuff like this I've been wanting to make for a long time. You know, I'm always looking for vegan recipes. Like I said, I do have a vegan pot pie recipe that I'm going to be making one of these days. And it's, it calls for a vegan pie crust as well. Um, oh, you just start using almond milk. It's very, very good for you. I usually buy the almond the uh, almond breeze, I think is what it is. That's the one I usually buy. And I didn't want to put in what I normally put in my cereal because that's that's vanilla almond milk. I don't think it make, make the mashed potatoes taste too good. So I just buy the original for recipes that I, I need to fix and, and then just buy the almond milk, the, the vanilla almond milk for my cereal because it makes the cereal taste so much better. But we could all learn how to, to do better. Hi, Alexis. I just put it in the oven. <laughs> so you're going to have to watch the replay to see what it looks like. I could have probably mashed a few more potatoes, though, 
couple more potatoes it called for four potatoes hi good to see you um yeah that's right and i will give you the recipe uh, of alexis and alexis and i had a nice long talk yesterday and she's given me some ideas um oh oh you're going oh, great. oh good 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 yeah yeah i it took a long time to prepare it though alexis i was standing here probably for an hour preparing everything because i had to cut things up and i had to put them on the stove and um are my friends outside of periscope well most i do have some facebook friends that are not on periscope yes but the ones that come here are some are on facebook and some some are on youtube and some are not so i have i have both I have both uh, per uh, per Periscope friends and non-Periscope friends because I have family that doesn't come on Periscope that, are, that is on Facebook. So I, have, so I have them as well. But anyway, this is a... Oh, I'm just great. I'll give you the recipe for this. It was one tablespoon of vegetable oil. I put that in the bottom of my pot, and I use olive oil. I have the extra virgin um, olive oil, the organic. Um, one teaspoon of... One tablespoon of garlic minced. I had a jar of gar minced garlic, so I put that in there. And boy, the smell of that, wow. And one onion diced. I used a pretty good sized onion. That took a time to get that all cut up. Um, two stalk, uh, Three stalks of celery. It's supposed to be chopped, but I just cut them up as fine as I could. Uh, two carrots sliced. Two cups of, of, of your vegan, of your vegetable broth. And I'll show you the vegetable broth I used. Um, this is the vegetable. This is the vegetable broth. I, there's the one I used that I don't know where it's at. I think I might have used it up. But anyway, this is the vegetable broth. I just bought some of this today because I might needed it. Um, oh, make my oh, you're probably right. You're you're probably right. You're probably right, uh, um, Alexis. And I'll have to figure out how to do that. Um, oh, use the low sodium. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll have to I'll have to make that. But that's all I had on hand, so I thought, well, I'll just do that. But anyway, um, and then um, it takes a cup of corn. Of course, it calls for mushrooms, and since we don't put mushrooms in it, I didn't put mushrooms in it. Um, a cup of corn. So I bought organic corn, put that in there. Um, half a cup of parsley chopped. I bought fresh parsley and put that in there. Um, one tablespoon of tomato paste. Um, one teaspoon of thyme sage there's pepper salt two cups of veggie broth and one tablespoon of flour well i've used a a little bit um it's in the oven right now i put it in the oven and i'll have to wait for it to get done for about 20 minutes yet um and it's it's supposed to be, i hope it'll be very good because it doesn't have meat in it it's and i wanted to show you what it looked like before i put the the mashed potatoes on top that's why i started it when i did because it was a lot of work to get everything done and cut up and you know and chopped and diced and everything else um, oh you try you tried it once um, is cottage I don't know what that really is you know I've never heard of that one I'll have to search that one out <laughs> oh thank you thank you but I like I said I'll post this up on Facebook and I'm I, I, like Alexis she's in here and she told me I should start my own vegan group on Facebook, which I haven't done that yet, but I intend to. But in the meantime, I post to my own Facebook page. I post to her page because she's got a Facebook group, and I post to her page. But once I get my vegan group going, then I hope that people will come in there and um, start my own and have my own vegan group. Yeah, that's what she told me to start my own our own vegan uh, web page on on Facebook, which makes a lot of sense. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. I, yeah, I know I can, Alexis. I just haven't, I've been gone today and I just didn't go around to do it. And I have to figure out, you know, how I want to do it and everything, you know. Um, the clear minds thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, clear minds, here we come. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, I, but it's, it was something that we talked, that we talked for about 45 minutes yesterday. And she gave me some good ideas, and she's a nice lady to talk to. She really is. She's in here right now, and she's a sweet lady. I, I go into her Periscope's replays. I don't go into them in the morning because she comes on when I'm still asleep. I mean, I didn't even hear the whistle go off this morning when she came on. I mean, I was I must have been dead to the world. <laughs> You're welcome, Alexis. And uh, I was dead to the world, so I watched her replay this morning. Uh, 
you know, that's possible. I could do that. I, you know, I, that's something for me to think about. I haven't thought about it, but I could. Well, since I have a YouTube channel and I put them up on YouTube, I didn't think I would really need to, but it probably would be okay. You know, I, I should probably think about that. Um, Oh, you're going back? Oh, I hope that you go back to vegetarian or vegan because it's better for you. Because you really you don't realize what that meat's got into it. it. And it's not very good for you. And the meat they now is so diseased. You know, the grounds are ground is not very good. You know, it's it's all diseased too. You know, and, and have you ever thought about the chickens when they the way they live? They're in a they're in this big huge building or whatever you want to call it. Look at watch the movie Forks Over Knives on YouTube. You will never look at chicken the way another the same way again. I did, and they they are so cramped in there, and it's absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, cancer. Yeah, and you know, and if, when you think about how the chickens are living, do you really want to eat their meat or their eggs? It's not very good. They're you know they they're not treated very well. Um, Oh, that's wonderful, Erlene. Yeah, it's it's a little hard at first because you're so used to eating meat. You're so e used to eating chi um, any kind of meat like your fish and chicken and hamburger and whatever. You know, and some eat pork, which I never ate. But you're so used to eating, and I was so used to eating cheese, drinking milk. And boy, to give that stuff up was a little difficult at first, but I, but I was able to do it. I can walk right past the meat counter now and not even give it a second glance. Um... Yes, it does. Absolutely, the body loves the changes. And, and my profile picture that you see um, is, the, is the way I look now. I, I changed my profile picture because the other one made me look so fat in the face. And since I've lost some weight, I decided to change my profile picture to the one that I, I have now. And people hardly recognize me. Hi, Mark. Good to see you. You'll have to watch the replay to see how I made it. But it will be coming out of the oven, and I'll be cutting into it when it comes out. <clears throat> Amen. That's right. Praise the Lord. You know, it's a long struggle. If you're like me and you've been on this weight loss journey, you know, years ago when I could said I was a teenager, I would gain weight and I'd lose weight. Then I'd gain weight. Then I'd lose weight. It seemed like I never got a happy medium. I was constantly up and down like a yo-yo. But now that I've, I've learned how to lose weight, I'm keeping it off. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's what everybody keeps telling me that I, I you know, it's, it's perseverance. We can all do it if we... Hi, Alexis. Good to see you. I didn't notice that you were here and all those people are here. That If I didn't say hi to you, well, hi. Good to see you. And I hope you get benefit from this from this periscope. And if you want to see how I, how I what it looks like before I put it in the oven, you'll have to go back and watch the replay. I didn't start from the very beginning when I was making it because it's a long, drawn-out process. I just showed you what it looked like in the pan and before I put the, put the uh, mashed potatoes on top. I will have be doing a vegan pot pie before too long. And that calls for a top crust and bottom crust. That would be a lot of fun. I know it's a little tricky, but I think I can do it, you know, with God's grace. Um, oh, I am. I am doing so much better. And like I said, my sleeping patterns, patterns have changed because I, I don't hear the periscope things like I used to. Um, you know, I don't know. I like, Maybe uh, I have to go look for a vegan um, do pie crust. Now, I'm not going to buy the ones in the store. You can buy them in the store, but I'm not going to buy the ones in the store because they're full of lard and stuff in our body, the stuff that we should not put into our body. So I want to make my own. So I'll have to look for a, a vegan pie crust that I can do. Simple, you know, rolling it out is a lot of fun and getting it to go in your pie pan. That's what I'm, is, um, the tricky part of it. But I'm sure I'll get it there, you know. But the vegan pot pie is a simple thing to make. And I, like I said, I want to make it too because... It's got all vegetables in it. I bought the vegetables for it today, so I can make it this week. Um, um, at a name, I think I know what that is. I'm not. I've heard of it. I'm not really sure, but I do think I know what that is. Was that good? Because I I've never done that before. I've been making um, grilled cheese sandwiches with uh, the chow cheese that I bought at Walmart and. Soybean, oh, is it soybeans? Okay. Some people are allergic to soy. They can't have soy. You know, I'm not allergic to it, but still, I'm, I'm, I don't um, 
eat a lot of soy. You know, I try to eliminate it in my diet, you know, but I, you know, to each his own. Everybody's got their own, own way of, of uh, doing things and different things that they eat. I just happen to eat different than a lot of other people. But when you take a recipe like this and you, and you make it and you leave some things out or you add some things, it's like making it your own because I didn't add the mushrooms to it, so I made it my own. Uh, ones that I can, I can eat. Um, and I'm, I know it's going to taste good. It's got about 10 minutes to go yet. Wahoo! Well, 10 minutes. I think I can stand here and talk for 10 minutes yet. And uh, I'm hoping that everybody will, will uh, try to make this too. I'll pull, like I said, I'll post this up on Facebook and I'll post it up on YouTube. It's a long recipe, as you can see. I printed it out. It's a long recipe, but it's a good one. Um, yes, I watched that, Alexis. I saw that this morning when you sent it to me. That, yeah, I saw that. That It is a funny looking fruit. I don't find them here, though. I don't know where you can get them at because I did not find it here. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Um, oh, good, good. You know, for some people, it's hard to give it up. It takes a while, especially when you're used to meat. I was. I mean, I had meat my whole life. And to give it up wasn't easy at first, but I told myself I have to do it. If I want to be healthy, I have to do it. I've got to give it up because I'm not going to be, uh, um, you know, stay healthy if I don't. And that's what I want to stay healthy. Um, well, it does. It does give you protein. That's true. There is protein in meat, but you can also get them for your fruits and vegetables, too, that God gave us in the Garden of Eden. You can get your vitamins B12 and stuff. You can't get that from the meat. And the thing of it is, the meat is so diseased. Um, yeah, I know. I can't find a jackfruit either. They're not here at Walmart. I was at Walmart today, and they're not there. So I don't know where you can really get them at. I don't know. I know uh, my daughter and I, we checked out this morning, and I guess they're native to the country of India, Sri Lanka, I believe. But where they're at here in the United States, I have never found them. Some places have them, and some places don't. Um, oh, you've been trying since last year? You know, it takes perseverance. You've got to keep at it. I mean, I went off of them cold turkey, off of a cold turkey. And I started 250 pounds, and now I'm, I've lost over 50 pounds. I'm down at 196. It seems like I've kind of hit bottom almost. It doesn't want to move off of 196. But I'm happy that I've gotten as far as I have because it was always hard for me before and I've decided I'm going to stay with it and and keep going and see how far I can get you know and I know that I that I'll do fine you know 196 is the lowest I've ever been in years um oh processing sauce um I have not been this low in years I have always been way overweight and I never liked the way I look and, and I thought, well, I've got to do something about it. My, my weight was getting out of hand. It was getting out of control. And even my, and my ex-husband, at the time we were married, he said I needed to do something about it. He never can really condemn me for the way I look, but yet, you know, um, he saw me at, at Thanksgiving and Christmas time, and he realized I did lose weight. You know, my son, the first thing he did when he, when I, he saw me at Thanksgiving, he says, Mom, you look so good. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you so much for saying so. You know, my son usually doesn't uh, uh, think of me that way, you know. And he's he's very, um, what would you say, he doesn't pay much attention. But he saw me walking in the living room or in the dining room. I was going from the bathroom coming back. And he says, boy, Mom, you have lost weight. So I guess it did show. You know, my clothes are looser now. I've noticed that. Some of the clothes I've been wearing are really loose on me. And it's amazing, you know, just, just dropping that over that 50 pounds you're, thank you thank you and it's it's like i said it didn't happen overnight i didn't put it on overnight hi Derek. good to see you. you'll have to wait for my my uh thing to come out of the oven um oh yeah i know i think so um, all my clothes are going to be big and i'll have to buy smaller clothes or they're going to be falling off of me <laughs> you know i have been trying to lose weight yes it is hard it is hard but but once you you um Put your mind to it and you say, I can do it and I'm going to do what God has asked me to do and live right. You'll do it. You'll lose the weight. It's a str it was a struggle my whole life, especially my teenage years because I got to the point where I just would, you know, be on the slim fast and then I'd, 
I, you know, I didn't eat right for, after put, eating that, drinking that, and I wondered why I wasn't eating, why I wasn't losing weight. Well, that wasn't doing it anyway. I shouldn't have been on that stuff to begin with. I realize that now. But at that time, you know, when you're 18, 19, 20 years old, you want to look good, you know. Not at the time, no, but I do now. I, I, I'm thankful that the Lord has helped me. But that time, no, when I was a teenager, I didn't. And I didn't want to be heavy. I wanted to be on the thin side because I thought if I was ever going to find a, a, a mate, he wouldn't like somebody that's real real big, you know. He doesn't care for big women, didn't care for big women. But I wasn't big when he married me. And, of course, my weight slowly crept up a little bit afterwards. Um, that That's going to get you blocked. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't do that in here. That's disgusting. <laughs> ah, block that person. Got all kinds. <laughs> Why well, I ask you there? Boy, they must be crazy that they... Uh... Oh, okay. Thank you for coming on. And you'll have to watch the replay because when I get it out of the oven, I'm going to cut into it so I can eat some a little later. So I haven't had my lunch. And this is the only meal I'm going to have today. I had some cereal, a uh, small breakfast this morning, but now this will be my last meal of the day and I won't be eating anything else. And when I cut it out, when I take it out of the oven, I'm going to cut into it. Oh, me eat. I can't wait to get into it either. And, uh, oh, you report. Yeah, thank you, Erlene, because those things are disgusting. I'm glad I blocked him, but did the same thing on Stacy's Periscope. I don't know why they, and I think they come on Lexus and do the same thing. I don't know why they, they, they get a thrill out of it. They must be so miserable. Then they have a lousy sex life or something that they got to they gotta see other people. I'm not here for that. You know, I'm a Christian woman, and I don't do that stuff. You know, you've been a vegetarian for three years. Oh, that's what, you know something, you're going in the right direction. Stay a, ve a vegetarian and it'll eventually come. I was vegetarian too. I was still on meat. Hi, good to see you. Um, I did eat pork. I did eat hamburgers. I did eat chicken. I did eat fish. But no, but I don't eat any of that now at all. I've completely given away, given it up. And like I said, it wasn't easy at first, but now that I've been, been off of it for so long, quite a few months now, several months, um, well, I'm I'm waiting for my my uh, shepherd's pie to come out of the oven. That's what I'm wait what I'm waiting for. I'm talking while it's coming out of the oven, um, because I want it was only gonna be in there about 25 minutes. I think I got it's um, it's been in there about 20 minutes right now. I can look at it. It probably should be about done. Let me look. Let's grab my other. Whoa! Wow. Okay. No, I guess she done all right. It's going to be quite hot. So. There it is. Stuff is seeping out from underneath, but look at it. I'm going to cut into it. Um, let me get a... Let me rinse this off. And let me put some in a bowl, and then we can see what it looks like. I'm going to put it, put it in one of these. Let me cut into it. And we'll see how it looks like. Yes, it's good and done. I can turn it around if you want to see it. If you can see it, I can lift it up and you can see what it looks like. Um, let me turn this around. Which is about to... I don't want to touch this because it's hot. There. If you can see what it looks like when I cut into it. Can see all the veggies. Oh, he, well, I don't really miss fish because I never really ate much of it anyway. So I'm going to take a little bit more out of here. See, doesn't that look, look at that. And I'll put it in my bowl. And that's what I'm going to eat for my lunch today. Doesn't that look good? Does, yes, it does, doesn't it? I think that's going to be very, very good. And I've never had anything with, with um, mashed potato topping on it. But it sure does look good. It takes time to fix it the way it needs to be fixed, but it, it looks very, very good. And I'm good. Like I said, I'll post this up on Facebook. I'll eventually get a vegan vegan Facebook group. Um, oh, oh, good. Let me get a. Let me blow my nose real quick. No. And my dog's staring at me like, <laughs> oh, you're trying to try making that? It's very, very simple. 
It's very, very simple. And you can see it came out really good. Um, if I'd have done another potato, probably would have had a little bit more. But see, it looks real good. Um, um, I'm in, I'm living in Oregon right now, but I'm originally born in Indiana. I was I originally was came from Indiana, but I. Um, okay, Alexis, thank you for coming on, and um, you have a great night and take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Alexis. So. Um, you know this. I love doing this. Um, the only time, the only thing I left America is I went into Canada. I went into Canada one year. We were going to buy a house in Canada when I was married, but we decided not to. Um, we ended up buying a house in Hawaii instead. <laughs> but uh, that's you know that's as far as I put uh, as I've been. I've been out of the out of the United States is in Canada. So otherwise, I I don't get out of the United States. I you know I'm not really interested in getting out of the United States. You know. <laughs> oh my goodness oh wow that is really that's really something and you know that's that's sad though too that's really sad that you don't know who they really are you know that's really really sad i hope and pray you do get to see them sometime you know that family is very important you know and i've got a son that lives here in oregon but my daughter lives in missouri and I miss her every day, but I do talk to her on the phone, but I do miss her. Um, and one lives in, U oh, I live in Eugene. That's where I'm at right now. Yes, there, it's Eugene. I'm, I'm in Eugene. I'm in the, um, I'm in the suburbs. I'm not right in the city. I'm out in the outskirts. So, uh, yeah, um, and I've been here since 2006. Or actually, I bought a house here in 2007, so I've been here 10 years. I've been in this house 10 years. So, because I got a divorce and now I'm here and he's back in Vancouver, Washington. But that's that's a long story. But anyway, I'm happy where I'm at because now I can I can share with people what my recipes, you know, and I love doing that. I love sharing with other people, you know. Oh, some Indian reservation somewhere around. Oh, okay, yeah, we do have Indian reservations. We have them in uh, Lincoln City, I believe. So we have uh, Indian reservations. Um, most coming on, you can see what my what my shepherd's pie looks like. Albeit, maybe it doesn't look like much, but it's got veggie veggies in it and stuff. And I cut one, I cut a little bit up and put it in my put it, down there, put it in my bowl to eat. And most of you can see the mashed potatoes, but it's got carrots in it. It's got celery in it. It's got the spices, so it's going to be really good to eat. And I'll, like I said, I'll make the vegan pot pie if I can make it tomorrow and I can find a good vegan uh, recipe for the. For the uh, pie crust, I'll do that because uh, I, I have to make the top and the bottom. And that'll be fun to do. But I think I'll make the pie crust before I come on here is what I'll do. I'll make it and then I'll just, you know, make the rest of it and then put the put the one on top. I'm not real good at, at crimping it and getting it to look like they did on the, in the YouTube video. But I'll sure give it a try. But I'm going to have to go a little bit and eat this before it gets too cold since I haven't eaten yet. But I um, thank you all for coming on and sharing sharing this with your other your other friends. And your followers so they so they can learn how to make this too and like i said i will post it up on on facebook i already got to took a piece out of it but i'll still cut it up put it show it on facebook anyway so they can see what it looks like and i'll post it up on youtube so i hope you all have a, a great and marvelous day wherever you might be take care god bless and bye bye